everybody, welcome back. I'm excited to be back today. I hope everybody's doing great. I've got this simple little recipe. Don't run off on me, I know. Uh, when you read cabbage, you're gonna love this cabbage because let me tell you something, life's too short to eat boiled cabbage. You gotta have this. And this is under three different, uh, this is under, uh, in a cookbook I read and it's just called regular sausage stir fry cabbage but it's on the keto diet and it's also known as the Southern cabbage. And it's so good. This is the only way I can have it. And because it's on the keto diet, it's everywhere now. So I noticed it in this Betty Crocker, oops, this Betty Crocker old fashioned cookbook. I don't know if you can see this. I found this about 10 years ago because this is the best cookbook on home cooking. And I love it. This is the kind of stuff you get at Cracker Barrel. It's just good, good home cooking. So anyway, come on back here real quick. Oops, I think my skillet's already already going, but my drink of the day is gonna be a Bacardi Limon. I had these little samples of all different flavors so I can try it, and this is one of my favorites. So I got a Diet Coke with Bacardi, just a Bacardi and Coke, love it. And I've got my funny little 1979 uh, uh, Burger King glass, and I love what it says. It says, I can do most anything. I love magic, I love food, that's fun. I've got fun, fun, fun for everyone. Isn't that funny? I mean, it makes you even wonder, <laughs> you know, I've never seen that ad before or anything. Maybe I missed it, but I loved it. Mm. Oh yeah, big, big sip. Woo, big sip, a lot of ice. Let's get started, guys. I think you're gonna like this. I've already, I added a little bit of celery, added a little bit of celery, and I also added andouille sausage. You're gonna need about three things for this, and that's it. You don't have to add spices because all this is enough. If you wanna add salt and pepper, you wanna to add Tony Sacheries, you wanna add slap your mama or whatever, a little bit of soy sauce, that's up to you. But this is the way I do it. I don't need a lot of this, you know, extra stuff because this is all gonna, this is gonna be fine. And you can add onion. I know everybody likes onion. I sauteed a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, celery in this already, and I bought the andouille sausage, and I'm still cutting a little bit. I was kind of running behind. I was like, oh, I think I'll just cut it online. So anyway, let me dice this up a little bit, and we're gonna add a little bit of sausage to this, and you're just gonna you're just gonna stir this a little bit. Separate. Oh, and guys, I added a little bit of a little bit of olive oil, not much, just like one capful, one and a half capful, just to keep it all, you know just to keep it from sticking to my pan. And I have this skillet. You can put this in a pot. You can, you know, you can cook this. This is gonna take you about 10 minutes, 10 minutes on a medium heat. But you decide if you wanna go a little bit longer for your cabbage, that's up to you. And I'm gonna talk you through this because you know me, I already got started. So you're gonna do your sauteing of your veggies, you know, your uh, celery or onion. You're gonna add your sausage and I only added a little bit. I buy the ring, and this is the one from H-E-B. If you're from Texas, you know what H-E-B is. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of the bacon. And I already made the bacon, guys. I had already, you know, I got on the skillet and I made my own. If you wanna add the raw bacon to this, it's gonna make it greasy, which is not on the keto diet. So you need to have your bacon patted dry and sliced up to add to this because it kind of just adds the flavor and you have an extra crunch in there. But, you know, if you want to add it, then it's not going to be, it's not going to be good for your diet. But I'm just saying, pat it dry, make it easy. And let me wipe my hands off. So, as you can see, look how good it looks. Can you see that? Oh, it's all bubbling. It's in there. I got started a little bit earlier. And then you're going to add your cabbage. And the good thing about cabbage, guys, it's part of the, it's part of the kale family. You know, everybody was going crazy about five years ago looking for kale. They couldn't keep it around here. And I, I walked into Kroger one day, I go, no kale? And the guy's like, you don't need kale. Like, like, you can have cabbage, lady. And I thought, oh, yeah, you're right. You know, it's part of the whole family of the same cabbage family and this is the best way to eat it I think I mean if you know I like cabbage and soup you know but this is a good comfort food and since it's fall at least it's trying to be fall here in Houston but if you want guys you can even make a lot of this you could add this to a crock pot and cook it slow but I just like to go ahead and get this started 15 15 minutes and the good thing about it, you let it sweat down. If you add a whole head of cabbage, it's gonna pile up high and you're gonna have to do this in two parts. But I do half a head of cabbage and I just let it sweat down because cabbage is all water. That's what's so great about it. So here, let me add a little bit more. And we're just gonna, just gonna keep an eye on that. You're gonna cover it. 
and you're gonna decide what kind of crunch you want. If you want a little bit soggier and softer, that's up to you. You cook it longer, but if not, I like a little bit of crunch. I like the way it looks. You know, it's kind of marinated with all the flavors, you know, your salt and pepper, whatever you want. But like, I add all my stuff later, guys. I'll, I'll salt and pepper it later. I thought this is enough salt in my life. I gotta cut back on all that. So anyway, I'm gonna let this set and through the magic of TV, I know, I always say that. I already got started and I wanna show you how good this looks. Look, this is how great it looks. Oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. Let me move this over. I don't know if you can see this, my music's a little loud. I got my funky tunes on, I was excited. I said, oh yeah, we're doing this. We're doing a craft, a cocktail, and a cool meal. And I'm making this for myself. And I can eat off this all week, guys. And you know what? I'm sick of salads. I think this is better than a salad. So I'm gonna try a little bit of this. And I'm gonna let this cook down. But I wanted to show you the final, the final little product here. And uh. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Two thumbs up, guys. I left just enough crunch in there. Just enough. I love this one. And I tell you what, like I, it's all over the internet. I think it's on TikTok, whatever. It's good for you, try it out. Don't get scared of cabbage. I know you're thinking back to when you were a kid, boil cabbage, no way, no way. Don't even try that, <laughs> try this. But before I go on, let me show you. Oh, okay, let me show you. Mm. Get some swallow in here. Mm. Big sip. Before I go on, look behind me. I don't know if you can see this. I worked on two crafts this week. Mm. So fun, so fun. I couldn't wait to do this. Uh, the little tree behind me is $25 if you buy the tree at Michael's. I think it's 18 or 22 actually, but with tax it would be 25. So I decided, I was walking through there and they had the long ribbon, you know, the long uh, little, uh, little. I guess it's, a, it's like a long ribbon of leaves. And all I did was I cut it up and I attached it to a broom handle because I had a couple in the garage and I weren't, you know, I, they were just leaning up against the wall there. And I just wired it to an old broom handle and I put it in a bucket of rocks, you know, just a little pot, you know, a potted plant pot. And I just made my own little tree. I'm gonna have this in my entryway. I love the fall leaves. I love the way it looks. I don't wanna go out and buy a plant for fall. This is all I wanna do. So I thought that was so funny. I thought I'm gonna make my own. I thought to myself, they have an entire little, you know, a, a garland of this. And I thought I'm gonna cut it up. I'm gonna wire it and it turned out great, I love it. Now I did use the brown masking tape. You could just paint it. You could paint a, a, a broom handle brown and it would work. And the other project I did, I did a shelf, let me show you. I was excited about this. You know, when you go on vacation, you go out to the coast or you go down to Galveston or whatever and you see all these little boutiques and they make things out of seashells and you look at the price and it's like crazy. And I always wanted to make a, a some, like a shelf or something out of seashells because I have bags and bags of shelves, uh, of shells, seashells, and guys, they're at the dollar store. They cost a dollar, you can get a whole bag. So get busy, grab an old little uh, sconce or something, and let me show you what I did. I made this, and it was so easy. But I will tell you, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to work from the bottom up. And then you are gonna have to arrange before you get started. Yeah, don't go at the last minute and just start, you know, putting, sh because they're not gonna fit together. This was like putting a puzzle together, I noticed, because I did a little bit at the bottom, and then I arranged them, and then I'd glue, and I'd put three more, and I'd arrange them. But I tell you what, it was so funny. I did hot glue, probably not a great idea, because you get the little strings, but if you get an ice cube, the ice cube picks up all the little strings. So that makes it real easy. But I, I tell you what, I, the, you know, these are a little bit heavier shell. So the seashells, if they weigh more, you're gonna need a pretty good anchor to anchor this. But guys, don't go out and buy a new one. Go over, cause these used to be popular years ago and I had one of these in the garage. Uh, what you can do is just go out to a Goodwill or a resale shop, get yourself a sconce or get yourself a shelf and make your own. 
make your own. This is no big deal. I wanted to do it. I finally did it. And it's either going to go in my Hawaiian room or my seashell bathroom. I can't decide. But anyway, these are the funny little projects this week. I thank you for coming back. Let's see how this is looking. See? Oh my gosh. It's already sweating down, as you can see. It's not really, really crunchy anymore. Sweating down a little bit. It'll be ready in about probably four minutes, five minutes. I thank you for coming back. Big kisses to everybody. Big cheers. I hope you have a great week. And uh, try this out. I think you're going to like it. Bye.